Hello, fifth graders. Welcome to lesson 2.7, Interpret the Remainder. Please pause to write the lesson number and title in your notebook. Today's lesson objective is to solve division problems and decide when to write the remainder as a fraction. Please pause to write the lesson objective in your notebook. Today's lesson has a little bit of notes. You should copy these notes into your math notebook. When we divide, we have four options to do with our remainder. The remainder is what's left over. So we've talked about this in fourth grade before. If we cut a cake into four pieces, but we only have three people, then we don't want to throw away the rest of the cake, right? So we have an option of what we do with our remainder. We actually have four options. I'm going to give you some examples in each box. So the first option that we have is to make it a fraction. So let's say, for example, let's take our cake. If we have one cake and four people are going to share it, then we can change that into the fraction of one-fourth. Each person is going to get a fourth of a cake. The way that we do that is we have what we divided by, by what we divided into. So our quotient over our divisor. This would be a good thing to do in the case of food because you don't want to shift, throw away food. So oftentimes we can have food as a fraction. The other place we might see this is in measurement. So I can have two and a half inches of something, okay? The next option we can have is to lose it. And that means we're gonna drop the remainder and only use the quotient. So let's say I had the problem of nine divided by two. Nine goes into two four times, which is eight remainder one. So in this case, we're gonna lose the remainder. So this would be if they ask us something like, exactly how many people can we share the cake with? So when we see the word exactly, that may be a clue that we're going to use only the quotient. It might also ask for what is the quotient, and quotient means no remainder. So if we see the word quotient, that also might mean that we should drop the remainder. Our next option is to round up. That would be in the case of like, if we're going to take a bus and we have three extra people that don't fit on the bus. Well, we can't just leave them behind. We have to round up how many buses that we would need. So let's say we have 22 students and each bus holds 10 students. So 10 goes into 20 two times, which is 20 remainder two. So those students can't not go on the bus, so we have to order an extra bus. So we would round up our quotient and say that we need three. So this would be in the case of when we have people into groups, that would be when we need to round up. That would tell us we don't have enough of something, but we can't just leave people behind. Another problem where you might see this would be if you have an order and you have to order a little bit extra because it's better to have a little bit extra than it is to not have enough. So I'm gonna also put the word orders. And our last option is to use the remainder only. Sometimes in a math problem, they'll ask us something like, there are, Three, 12, 13 people, and we can only pick four people at a table. So four goes into 13 three times, which is 12, remainder one. So that one person would be, if they might ask us a question like, how many people are at the table that isn't full? Or how many people are left over? So the key words we want here are left, over because that tells us how much is left over. They might also in the problem use the word remainder.
please pause to write down the notes that I have written on this page in your math notebook if you have not already. Great job. Today's Unlock the Problem says Scott and his family want to hike a trail that is 1,365 miles long. They will hike equal parts of the trail on 12 different hiking trips. How many miles will Scott's family hike on each trip? When you solve a division problem with a remainder, the way you interpret the remainder depends on the, the situation and the question. Sometimes you need to use both the quotient and the remainder. You can do that by writing the remainder as a fraction. Let's begin with the blue box. Circle the dividend you will use in the division problem. The dividend is the big number we're going to divide into, 1,365. The next one says underline the divisor. The divisor is 12. That's what we're going to divide by. Now let's begin with our steps. First, divide the quotient to find the remainder. Then, decide how to use the quotient and the remainder to answer the question. So let's go ahead and divide first. 12, 12 goes into 13 one time, which is 12, and then we subtract. 13 minus 12 is 1, and bring down the 6. 12 goes into 16 one time, which is 12. 6 minus 2 is 4, and 1 minus 1 is 0, so we're left over with 4. Bring down the 5. 12 goes into 45 three times, which is 36, and we subtract. 5 minus 6 we can't do, so we borrow. 15 minus 6 is 9, and 3 minus 3 is 0, so we're left over with a remainder of 9. So our answer is 113 remainder 9. Now let's use our notes to figure out how to answer this question. It says, the blank represents the number of trips that Scott and his family plan to take. Well, if we look back at our problem, it says that they are going to hike equal parts of the trip on 12 different days. So that means that our divisor tells us how many trips that we want to take. The blank represents the whole number part of the miles that Scott and his family will hike on each trip. So a whole number part tells me that I don't want any leftovers or remainders. So that means we want the word quotient. We want just the answer part of his division. The blank represents the number of miles left over. Okay, this is a key word, left over. That means we want the remainder. So that's the remainder. The remainder represents nine miles, which can also be divided into 12 different parts, one for each day, and written as a fraction. So we write the remainder, nine, over the divisor, which is 12. Write the quotient with the remainder written as a fraction in simplest form. So that would be 113 and three fourths. And I changed from three fourths from nine twelfths because three can go into nine three times and three can go into twelve four times. So I got the simplest form three fourths. So each day if I hike three fourths of a mile instead of having a leftover they can make it up on their twelve days. So each day his family is going to hike one hundred and thirteen and three-fourths of a mile. Great job so far. Let's practice again with the another way problem. This one says we're going to use only the quotient. The segment of the Appalachian Trails that runs through Pennsylvania is 232 miles long. Scott and his family want to hike nine miles each day on the trail. How many days will they hike exactly nine miles? If you remember my notes, this word exactly is important. It means that we're going to use only the quotient. 
no leftover pieces, which they told us that at the beginning. So let's divide first. 9 doesn't go into 2, but 9 does go into 23. 9 goes into 23 two times, which is 18. 3 minus 8 we can't do, so we have to borrow. 13 minus 8 is 5, and 1 minus 1 is 0. Bring down the 2. 9 goes into 52 five times, which is 45. 5 minus 2 we can't do, so we have to borrow. 12 minus 5 is 7, and 4 minus 4 is 0, so we're left over with 7. But they said ex how many days will they hike exactly 9 miles? So th in order to know exactly, we just use the quotient. So our answer is 25, no remainder. In the other two ways, we're going to use our remainder in a different way. So other way A, add 1 to the quotient. What is the total number of days that Scott and his family will need to hike 232 miles? Well, it says in order to hike the remaining 7 miles, because remember we had the remainder, they can't just stop in the middle of the hike and give up and live on the, ro on the hiking trail now forever. So we need to add one more day in order for them to get home. So, so instead of 25 days, it will take them 26 days. B says use the remainder as the answer. If Scott hikes 9 miles each day, except the last day, how many miles will he hike on the last day? So remember to use our word cues. We see the word except, and we see how many on the last day. The remainder is 7, so on the last day they will hike 7 miles. Almost finished, 5th graders. Time for your lesson activity. Today's lesson activity is to solve this word problem. There are 103 students eating lunch. Each table seats four students. All of the tables are full except one. How many students are sitting at the table that isn't full? So we need to divide 103 by four and then look at our words here. We see the word except and the question says how many students are at the table that is not full? So we need to answer with the remainder. Solve this problem in your math notebook and be ready to show your teacher. Great job!